What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest changes of the Evolution X ROM version is 7.9.2 and this is gonna be a quick video because I earlier did not show you guys the desktop mode properly and the changes on this particular build which is the 24th May 2023 build and the code name of this build is Pansit and this is for Raphael of course. So let me show you today how can you use the desktop mode first first of all you have to enable the developer option which you can do by going to the about phone and then tapping onto the build number seven times and after that you will get the developer option enabled once you do that just scroll down and enable the usb debugging otherwise this feature will not work so after that you just head over to your pc and then you install the desktop mode application the link of that you can find from the description box so once you go ahead and download the app, it will show up like this. This desktop mode 1.0.1 .1, as of now is the version. And this you have to actually install. This is a exe file. After you install that, you will get this Libar Mobile OS desktop mode kind of icon. And it will pop up in your start menu or your desktop. So you can just launch it from there. If I open it just normally, it won't work. It shows no devices were found. And after you enable the USB debugging on your phone from the developer options, just connect a USB cable from your PC to your phone. And once you do that, and you have to click on this always allow and then allow. And after that, as you can see, you can select the start now option in the desktop mode in display settings. And then you can just enable this one and it will pop up like this. Then you can click on connect and you have to wait for some time. Okay, so for now, it doesn't do anything. No idea why it's doing that. I have been trying it but it's not doing anything let me make it full screen okay right now as you can see it's clickable once i make it full screen so on the corner to the right side it will show a app drawer like this and once you launch some particular app it will launch over here on your desktop not on your phone so that is awesome so you can like browse through the internet and stuff if you want like i can open chrome and as you can see it opens in the full screen the fps which is showing up over here is what's running on the phone and here i can just browse through the website and stuff no issues whatsoever but yeah the like animations of scrolling and stuff it's not that smooth but yeah it's good enough i would say i have a really large monitor over here that's why it may look a little weird but yeah you get the idea and there is the minimizing button and you can just scale this window i guess if i move around the window it just like closes for some reason i don't know why it's not letting me too much to extend it but yeah right now as you can see it's doing it fine i would say and if you minimize it i don't know where it goes i cannot really see the app but yeah <laughs> i can just reopen it from the app drawer of course and there is the maximizing and the like normal window button so this is how you can open multiple apps on your phone from your phone actually so you get the idea you can definitely do a lot of things with this you can search for any particular app like the telegram and stuff and you can just see all the apps from your phone and i'm just using my mouse over here to actually scroll between my apps so that's really awesome so you can use this if you want well, right now let me just stop this and here let me actually show you there is a advanced setting go into it we also have the mirror internal display option if I just enable that and right now if I start this I have to reconnect it I guess okay so after some time it did open up on the phone and also right now you can actually mirror your display of your phone to your PC and this is really great you can actually see all the apps that you have opened close all the apps or I can clear it from here and right now let's open Chrome normally So it's really awesome that you can mirror your phone's display so if you want to get some high resolution stuff from your display of your phone you can definitely do that even opening apps like twitter and stuff is working perfectly fine and even the camera and stuff you can open on your phone and let me just switch the front camera as you can see right now it switched the front camera and you can see me right there also one thing here is really cool you can just open youtube as you can see that is actually playing on the phone so you can play any video it's plays back fine and here as you can see i can set the quality and stuff make it like 1080p and if i put it to full screen i can watch this on full screen on the pc no issues whatsoever so this is really great and it actually shows up the youtube's window over here in landscape mode totally on my monitor so that's really awesome and all the gestures and stuff will work from your mouse 
So that's it about the desktop mode. Right now, let me switch to the phone. And from here, you can notice the special changes, I would say. And it shows the Power App Network restriction mode has been returned. And here, let me show you what that is. And if I go into the like app, and here, if I go into the mobile data and Wi-Fi, and in here, there is this allow network access option. And you can right now restrict the Wi-Fi data, mobile data, and even VPN if you want, or even this background network access for each app if you want. Also, there is a media notification artwork fade and the blur filter options has been fixed, it shows. So this blur of media and there is the blur amount and stuff you can customize. I can just increase the blur if I want. Also the fade amount you can choose. Background blur if you're noticing, I hope you can see that. Okay, so this is how the background blur is actually looking. Also, it shows up in the notification panel and if you pause and play, it does this kind of animation even now. And you can switch your output device if you're connected to a Bluetooth headset or something, you can definitely do that. In the notification customization, also there is the blur media notification artwork background and there is a fade as well for this. And here, as you can see right now, the notification panels like player is actually blurred. Okay, so this is also blurred. So if you want a blur like this over here, you can definitely do that. And there are newer quick setting panel layout settings, it shows and it should work better than previously. Yes, I have faced the issue of the like quick setting panel becoming a little bit buggy if I change the layout earlier. But yeah, right now it is supposed to work a little bit better. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. Okay, so I would say it's still not that good. Like just notice this Wi-Fi and stuff. It looks like it's off, but it's actually on. The white ones are actually on where I feel it should be the blue ones. So, but yeah, this is how it is. You can also change it to cyberpunk and stuff. And right now, as you can see, the blue ones are the Wi-Fi icons. Color pop. With that, this is how it looks. But the default quick setting panel still stays like black over here, even the light theme. And this is how it is. There is a two-tone option as well. But yeah, the outline one is the like proper one. I would say this is the one I would prefer personally. The outline one looks really cool over here, and I am definitely liking this option. As you can see, there is the lift to check phone in the display settings, and in here there is the show ambient option and it will only show the ambient display when you lift up your phone and we have this double tap to check phone as well and there is the show ambient option for that as well so right now let me actually show you what it does so if even if i double tap as you can see it only shows the ambient display this is really awesome and here if i just put the device on the desk like this and just pick it up on my hand as you can see it also shows up the ambient display so you can just customize that if you want from here and this is really good but right now, you can just try that one more time. And as you can see, you get the bigger lock screen clock, also shows the edge lighting and stuff. The quick setting brightness slider, the margin of it has been also increased. So it's a lot more space to actually increase or decrease the brightness on this ROM right now. And it definitely looks so cool. Also, there is a change for the reticker as well. It shows reticker specs to latest one UI brief pop style. But yeah, there is the reticker option if you want that. There is the use app colored background and stuff for the DTGAR. So you can definitely use that if you want for DTGAR notifications. And in case if you're wondering if on this build the safety net and stuff is passing or not, yes, the safety net is passing perfectly fine. So banking apps will be working great. Also, the DNO info still stays L1, so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p. Also, the Google Photos has the unlimited pixel backup, so you can backup your photos and videos unlimitedly. And in case if you're wondering about the refresh rate and stuff, it does have the 90 hertz refresh rate still up to, and it is actually working fine from the test view for website. If I just show you that. Just notice it is going up to 90 fps 90 hertz is working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever and even while scrolling twitter and stuff it's perfectly smooth there is no lags or stutters at all and if you're wondering about the android and geekbench code on the latest build of evolution x rom here are they with a cpu stress test so those were all the changes that i could quickly show you guys about the latest build of evolution x rom the version is 7.9.2 and the name is Spansit. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.